الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباد المصطفى أما بعد My dear respected brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته فقد قال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأحسن كما أحسن الله إليك وقال الله تعالى وتعاونوا على البر والتقوى ولا تعاونوا على الإثم والعدوان واتقوا الله إن الله شديد العقاب صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين In the ayah I have read before you, Allah Azza wa Jal is enjoining us to do good through ita'ah, through obedience to Allah. Just as Allah Azza wa Jal has done good for us by His blessings, by His rahmah. It is also said, do good to the people just as Allah has done good to you. The best gift Allah Azza wa Jal has blessed all of us with is the gift of Iman. In the other ayah I've read, وَتَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْبِرِّ وَالتَّقْوَى وَلَا تَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْإِثْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ شَدِيبَ الْعِقَابِ And cooperate in righteousness. Cooperate in piety, taqwa. But do not cooperate in sin, aggression. And وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ Fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is severe in penalty. I would like to start my khutbah today with a few important points from the MCB, the Muslim Council of Britain, regarding the riots that has been taking place up and down the country recently. The first point, this is of course a distressing and worrying time for all of us in our Muslim communities, in our country we are living in. So it is crucial that we come together to support our families as well as our friends and neighbors from all faith and cultures. So please take the time to regularly check on them and offer your support to them. The second point, we are all aware over the past few days or the past week, we have seen mindless attacks on our places of worship, businesses, community venues, threatening and abusive language towards the most vulnerable in our localities, and violence on our defenseless neighbors. This has caused us Lots of pain and of course has upset all of us. More so because, it's more upsetting because it is driven by the hatred of our faith. And it is driven by an ignorance of the immense contribution our communities make to this country each and every single day. The third point. The authorities, the police, are working hard to protect our communities at this time. And Alhamdulillah, at Emek, we have also been granted with two security guards 24-7. We are grateful and supportive of their support. The fourth point, the police have requested that people stay away from these clashes, 
in our community. This will help them to focus all their resources on dealing swiftly and robustly with the criminality of others. So let's give them the space to do their very difficult job. The fifth point, if, if you do decide to join a counter protest, please ensure you are a good ambassador of our Islam and a good ambassador of our community. Please make sure you are law abiding, respectful at all times, and you follow any instructions from the police. The sixth point, during these school holidays, also please make sure that our young children are kept away from any clashes and do not join do not join any counter protest the safety and well-being are very very important and paramount my dear respected brothers and sisters the events in the last few days have taken a turn for the worst unfortunately based on a number of misconceptions and a number of causes. Our job with all that's going on with the far right, attacking various different Muslim communities, migrants, masajid and so on, is that we need to be really, really careful about this. Why? Because a lot of this is based on foolishness, misunderstanding, and the only worst thing could be that we also go down to their level and we also act foolish based on somebody else's foolishness. Alhamdulillah, thumma alhamdulillah, there is a lot of good sentiments in this country and where we find non-Muslim, mashallah, coming and supporting us from different faith, they are showing their support, they are defending our cause and also it is very important that we keep in focus and we don't overreact, we don't overreact. Alhamdulillah, as I said before, it seems like the police and the authorities are also trying to do their best. Of course, there will be cases where they may not be able to do their best or they may not be able to be there at the right time. So of course, as Muslim, we have Iman and we, have, we are brave. We don't want to cause any problems, but we have to defend our interests. We have to defend our masajids. We can't leave the door open and say, Alhamdulillah, the police will come and look after it, Allah will look after it. No. We have to defend our properties, our things like that. Alhamdulillah, that bravery and that courage is there. But we don't want anyone to mislead us. And we don't want to give the media a good time to essentially take the sympathy away from being in favor of us to being anti-Muslim by just a few silly people who are doing something crazy. They may be doing something which is unwanted, unwarranted, and then after that they will just spoil the Muslim name. So again, we have to be very, very careful about that. As I mentioned, we have to remember that these riots that we are having just now are caused by a lot of jahiliya, ignorance, jahalat, and lots of fake news, lots of fabricated lies, and lots of fear mongering. It hasn't started just now, it's been years thing that's been happening and it's been a series of events and build up based on nothing to do with Islam or with the Muslim. Now what we have to
to do is that Muslims are supposed to be people with akhlaq. Muslims are supposed to be people with good character, good conduct. And Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he came to complete good character. Nobody out there from the non-Muslims overall are going to ask for a book of hadith in general or the Quran translation and say let's see what Islam is saying except you <coughs> what they are going to look at in us is our akhlaq is our character is our moral good conduct that's why it is very important that our akhlaq character is all reflect are in line in the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and also another point to remember is that when we have the power to offend when we have the power to offend yet we show mercy and restraint this is a very important point it is very important also for us to think about not just to go around find some random people there who is doing nothing or breaking some windows, hurting someone attacking some random people, this is completely wrong this is not the time to become a gangster Muslims are not gangsters that's why there is no need to wear any mask or balaclava for example these are usually worn by gangsters for people who want to hide themselves we don't have to hide ourselves, we are not doing anything wrong just because they are doing something wrong we don't have to do something wrong yes, if you have to defend yourself to stand your ground and do it but do it with all complete honesty with complete dignity with complete honor don't go into, into any ideas of what it means to be a gangster and we expect that the people of authority are doing and will do something to solve this matter and may Allah Azza wa Jal allow that to happen but we don't encourage any kind of violence because this is not what our Islam, beautiful Islam teaches us we have to do what is right also a special message to all our brothers, sisters and youth from what we have been seeing and hearing is making us angry all this protest, masajid being attacked we are being targeted the first thing we get is anger so the first thing that they want is to make us angry they want us to go around the street they want us to smash things like they have been doing they want us to go around setting fires like they've been doing they want us to go around lighting fires so they can record us and they can put us on the social media and prove to the entire world, to the country that you are the problem, the Muslims are the problem so please, don't fall into the trap they want to divide people, divide us but do not let them do so don't fight fire with fire because if you will fight violence with violence aggression with aggression and crime with crime thuggery with thuggery then that will make you a violent criminal and thug like them we are Muslim and we have a code of conduct and that code of conduct comes from our tradition from the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa comes from the Quran and it's clearly mentioned there that when someone is doing wrong to you then the hard thing to do the hard thing to do, the test is not to replicate and not to react in the same way this is not being a pushover this is not being coward and taking the easy option the difficult option for you to do 
is not to respond to the temptation. Because they are waiting for us to slip and they will catch us. And they will twist the narrative. And they will make it all about us, it is your fault. And they will say, look, we told you the problem in our society. It's not us, it's the Muslims. Look how barbaric they are. Look at the problem they cause. So please, let's not fall into the trap. Finally, I think it is very important to understand that Allah Azza wa Jal only and ultimately can help us. He is the only one who will enable us to resolve any issue in this dunya. So what's very important for us to do in this critical time is rujoo in Allah, turning to Allah and to do lots of istighfar. Istighfar means seeking forgiveness for our wrongs. <coughs> we all have some wrongs. May Allah forgive us so that the mercy can come down and go to the masajid. Let's pray more in the masajid. Let's not be afraid. Let's increase our amal. Let's make the masajid alive and busy again. Remember that those who want to harm the masajid, that Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal protect the masajid as he did with the Baytullah. When Abraham and his army went to destroy the Kaaba, what did Allah do? Did he use any nuclear bomb or any army or any soldier? He used his army, little birds and little stone and pebble to destroy the entire army, subhanAllah. So Allah will protect his house. And every masjid is a house of Allah on earth. So our job is to do a'mal, to establish the salah in the masjid. And those who take time to join counter protest, they should rather take time to establish salah in the masjid and keep the masjid busy with a'mal. That's the best way to take care of it. So we turn to Allah Azza wa Jal that if He restore peace, harmony, tranquility to our communities, to our cities, to our country, and to the entire world. Amin wa akhir da'wana. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulihi al-ameen amma ba'd. ويا معشر المسلمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا مولانا محمد بعدد من صلى وصام اللهم صل على سيدنا مولانا محمد بعدد من قعد وقام اللهم صل على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى سائر الصحابة والتابعين وعلى عبادك الصالحين اللهم أيد الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر من نصر دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم واجعلنا منهم اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم ثبتنا على الإسلام اللهم نور قلوبنا بنور الإيمان اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات اللهم انصر المسلمين المصرعفين في السودان وفي فلسطين وفي بنغلاديش وفي كل مكان يا رب العالمين عباد الله رحمكم الله, رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان والإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله يذكركم وادعوه يستجب لكم ولذكر الله تعالى أعلى وأولى وأعز وأجل وأهم وأتم وأكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون في الإسلام